So, uh, Ziga, please, uh, you're, you're the right guy to kind of talk about how spy tools work, how the research works, because I know for a fact that you guys have a, a ton of data, like I don't want to use any other words, but I, I know you guys know what I mean by that. And uh, please uh, walk us through a little bit uh, over the, what you've seen with Search Arb. I know it has been pretty big on, on, on native, but please walk us through the, through the process and uh, we can share it with the audience. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, as you know, you know, um, Search Arp on native, like, it used to be, like, super popular, let's say, a year ago. Now do you hear, you know, mostly people are going to Facebook, TikTok. Uh, so the reason why we wanted, you know, to point out about the native, because recently, um, you know, we analyzed some numbers. So, yeah. There was like a small drop down, let's say, um, after the COVID. Um, and also like the first quarter of 23, you know, it started uh, really bad. Um, however, now we see an uptrend. Uh, so also when I'm speaking, you know, to a lot of people on the, you know, on the conference at the booth, like everyone's like TikTok, Facebook. And, you know, I think it's a great opportunity because everyone kind of left. Uh, so there is still, let's say, a few smart guys, you know, they're still like milking um, this opportunity. Um, and especially because I'm sure that many of you have heard that there are some rumors that, um, let's say, Facebook, they're, they're planning to kill like the direct linking to the search app. Uh, so I think it's a really, you know, great opportunity to maybe take a look uh, at the native again. Uh, so I'm going to start, you know, just with some numbers because as Lossi said, like we are, you know, constantly scanning like different traffic sources, different traffic types. So we are constantly analyzing this data and seeing like, you know, what is being popular. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, waste your time with the numbers too much, um, especially about, you know, the popular uh, networks. Uh, but you can, s you probably know yourself, you know, so let's say um, some time ago, Outbrain was the most dominant one, but now um, Tabula is uh, about to take over. Also something that um, I forgot to mention earlier, uh, so the reason why many people left is because there were some, you know, supply problems on the native side with certain networks, so we are, you know, sometimes we talk to them and they told us, you know, they are planning to uh, bring a bunch of new inventory and they're like o optimizing the algorithm. So it would be, um, you know, much, much more better for the native search arp. Um, okay, so again, this is just like a general overview. Like I'm sure that majority in this audience, you know, saw uh, many of those ads. Uh, so, Let's continue and also similar like about the, um, you know, about the um, um, feed providers, like you probably know which one is the dominant one, so I'm not going to waste too much time on this. Um, so about the creatives, uh, here are some of the examples. Uh, the reason why we brought this up, because often, you know, um, people think, at least what we see, um, when people are using our tool, uh, they would try to take, let's say, certain creatives from Tabula and try them on Outbrain. Uh, however, you have to understand, you know, that uh, policies um, are different on different networks. So something that you can run on MGID, for example, you cannot really run it on Outbrain. Okay, so this was just like a quick overview of the market. So now let's uh, get to the interesting part, which is uh, the framework. Uh, so the, the first part of the framework is, you know, I mean, this is at least if you are starting like completely fresh and you don't, you know, talk to anyone. First, you have to identify, you know, um, the global niche or like wha what kind of verticals are working, you know. So for this, I would recommend you to use um, very broad search, so you would um, you would use um, the um, you would use the running longest filter, 
Um, and this will give you just an idea what he's working on. So I wouldn't really recommend you, you know, because often when people sign up for a service like us, uh, like ours, they would think, okay, I can just apply some filters, copy that, and, you know, make millions. But unfortunately, it doesn't really work, work like this. So this kind of statistic is usually used just for some kind of um, global overview to just get an idea uh, which niche is popular, let's say dental implants or something like this. Uh, so after after you identify, so let's say you would be interested in you know in dental implants, and you're like, all right, I'm going to run this. So the biggest mistake I see uh, when I'm talking to the people, and also um, you know when they reach out to support, um, is when they're trying to find the ads in a specific category. So. Okay, this will be another example, but let's say, um, you know, there is many people that, let's say, they would do, like, gambling in Germany, right? So what they would do, they would just type the keyword gambling in the search, and then they would complain there is, you know, no, no go good ads or landing pages. Um, but the thing is, you know, like, if you think logically, it's um, on the real copy, like, nobody is going to use the word gambling, right? Especially if it's some kind of make money online angle. Uh, so on this step, what you need to do, you can open some of those uh, campaigns in the first place and you need to identify the keywords, you know, so you can find the ads uh, easier. So you need to identify the keywords for the creatives, like if you will be searching, um, let's say, in the ad info and also some keywords from the landing pages, you know, so, and especially if it's uh, in a uh, foreign language. I, I think we have the, the you, you mentioned earlier that we have the keywords like there is a there is a pretty cool feature that uh, they have recently introduced and I've heard a few guys are using the native search to feed or to find the keywords even for social uh, ads so uh, in in the next slides Ziga will show you how, how easy it is to kind of find uh, find the 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 keywords and actually collect that, uh, data that you can use right away for testing. Yeah, this will be after this slide. So the next step is, you know, uh, you will need to uh, get the creatives and the ad titles. Uh, so as the guys uh, in the previous speech suggested, you know, you need to get like at least few variations, so like five headlines, five images. Uh, so what you see on the video is not how you do it, actually. You know, so this is uh, the common mistake we see because we obviously can see, you know, how people are using the tool so we can improve the user experience. Uh, so please don't do it like this manually. Um, you can see there is like a red box um, close to each ad and you can just tick it and like the data will be exported like in a zip file and there is also a spreadsheet uh, with the titles. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> Maybe the screens, the computer is on. Okay. It was That's the HDMI good. cable, HDMI, but it works. All right, so now, yeah, the most interesting step, which also Lucid was uh, talking about. Uh, so until now, you know, it was very annoying to, you know, to think of which keywords do you want to use. You know, you had to basically open the URL, like copy it, like, I don't know, do a URL decode, you know, copy them manually. Uh, so we solve that problem that we, you know, automatically detect the keywords and we also show you, you know, how many times they appear so you can, um, you can understand which ones are more likely to succeed. And again, even if you are not on native, as Lossit pointed out earlier, you know, you can use um, those keywords, for example, on Facebook as well. Okay, and this is also a pretty good trick, let's say, a pro tip uh, that we don't see many people doing. Uh, I know that uh, some of you will, will hate me for this, but what you need to do is, you know, if you find a successful affiliate, um, just copy his uh, tracking domain or something, find a footprint, you can set up an alert and every time they launch something new, you will get notification and you will be the first one to find out. Okay. 
Okay, and for the last, this is just like, uh, I'm sure that most of you know this already. It's, you know, pretty standard, how to say, procedure in affiliate marketing uh, in general. Uh, what I would like to point out is, let's say, maybe the first point, because I see people, they would just, you know, do a research once a month. Like, it's very important that you do it, like, very often. Um, very often um, and apply, you know, the, the creatives you find, the offers as soon as possible, like before everyone else uh, finds it. Um, so, yeah, the fourth one, it's also um, quite important, which I mentioned before. Uh, and also about this uh, not killing the campaigns too early. I know it feels bad when you're losing money, but you need to have diamond hands, as they would say in crypto. Um, so, yeah, that would be uh, pretty much everything. Again, this was kind of very basic overview. But as I said, from what I see when I talk to the people, what I see in the support, like many people don't know this. Uh, but similar, like if you want some advanced tips, uh, you can visit us on our boot. I think it's A31, or you know, you can write to the support, and we will help you to uh, extend this, um, extend this st strategy even further. Thank you, thank you, Ziga. Thank you very much.